the poem when i was growing up by nelly wa nelly wa is a chinese american writer chinese american writer her collections of poetry are dreams in harrison railroad park the death of long steam lady stolen moments breakfast lunch dinner she was one of the founding members of the writing collective unbound wit she was one of the founders of the association of writers named unbound wit Her songs of farewell is permanently installed in a place in San Francisco. One of her poems is permanently installed in a place in San Francisco. She made a series of popular lectures titled Women and Revolution. alive and insufferable at the radical women's conference her words when women rise everyone will rise when women rise everyone will rise one she send these words in a speech she once said a lot of my poems come from the workplace that's where i have experienced a great deal of sexism and racism she says that it is at her workplace that she experienced a great deal of sexism and racism the poem when i was growing up highlights the identity crisis experienced by the asian americans nelly wong was a chinese american she is speaking about the discrimination that she faced because of her color and she is not happy with her yellow color nelly wong depicts the dominant white culture and it's a encoded precepts of beauty the poem when i was growing up i know now that once i longed to be white how you ask let me tell you the ways i know now that once i longed to be white she once wished it she had a great desire to be white she strongly wished it to be white how you ask let me tell you the ways when i was growing up people told me i was dark and i believed my own darkness in the mirror in my soul my own narrow vision when i was growing up when i was growing up people told me i was dark and i believed my own darkness so this is repeated in 
most of the stanzas when i was growing up people told me i was dark when she was growing up people told her that she was she also knew that she was dark i believed my own darkness in the mirror looking in the mirror i myself was convinced that i was dark in my soul my narrow vision my own narrow vision so i did not have a broad vision to think that there is no meaning in color it is not the color that decides one's inferiority or superiority i believed my own darkness in the mirror in my soul my own narrow vision i also was convinced that uh, i am dark i felt it in my soul in my own narrow vision so the poet uh, had a feeling of inferior inferiority an inferiority complex was gripping the poet because of her color she wished to be white she longed to be white when i was growing up my sisters with the fair skin got praised for their beauty and i felt further crushed between high walls when i was growing up this inferiority complex increased my sisters had a fair skin they were praised by the people for their beauty for their beauty and i felt further crushed between i walls the poet felt very unhappy when her sisters were praised for their fair skin their beauty was appreciated by the people i felt uh, very miserable i felt uh, like uh, being crushed between high walls crushed between high walls high walls the poet uh, felt uh, very sad when she was ignored by others when her, her sisters were praised by everyone for their fair skin the poet poet felt very sad because of her dark color when i was growing up i read the magazines and saw movies blonde movie stars white skin sensuous lips and to be elevated to become a woman a desirable woman i began to wear imaginary pale skin so the 
wife's concept of beauty. Beauty is called as white. Beauty is called as white. So the wife's concept of beauty is popularized by the magazines, by the movies, I read the magazines and saw movies, blonde movie stars, white skin, sensuous lips. So such a movie stars, blonde with a golden hair, the movie stars. white skin, sensuous lips, the movie stars with white skin, sensuous lips, blonde hair. The poet also wanted to be A desirable woman like them. A desirable woman. She also wants to be elevated. She also wanted to be raised to that position. The poet felt very inferior because of her color. This inferiority complex increased when she read the magazines, saw movies, when she saw blonde movie stars with white skin, sensuous lips, with their red lips, with sex appeal. The poet felt very inferior. She also wished to be to become a desirable woman like him. I began to wear imaginary pale skin. The poet imagined, imagined that she also wore pale skin. She imagined herself as having white skin, white skin. I began to wear imaginary pale skin. In her imagination, she walked with the white skin. When I was growing up, I was proud of my English, my grammar, my spelling, fitting into the group of smart children, smart Chinese children, fitting in, belonging, getting in line. Though the poet felt inferior because of her color, she felt proud of her proficiency in English. Her proficiency in English. She was proud of her English. My grammar, her knowledge of grammar, spelling, fitting into the group of smart children. She could fit into the group of smart children. She was accepted by the group of smart children because of her proficiency in English language. 
she was accepted by the smart Chinese children. Fitting in, belonging. Then she had a sense of belonging. Then she had a sense of belonging. She felt proud of her ability to use English, about her mastery of English grammar. When I was growing up and went to high school, I discovered the rich white girls. A few yellow girls, their imported cotton dresses, their cashmere sweaters, their curly hair, and I thought that I too should have what these lucky girls have. When she went to high school, she felt inferior. When she saw the rich white girls seeing their dress and also a few yellow girls, a few yellow girls, Chinese American girls who are rich, they wore imported cotton dresses. They wore imported cotton dresses. They looked very beautiful. And also their Kashmiri sweaters. Kashmiri sweaters they wore. I felt, the poet felt that they are lucky girls. They are lucky girls. Their curly hair, their curly hair. They have curly hair. So, beauty is coded as white. And uh, having curly hair, curly bald, blonde hair. Sevita sensuous lips. So, beauty is coded like I too should have what these lucky girls had. I thought, I thought I also should have what uh, these lucky girls have. When I was growing up and went to high school, I discovered the rich white girls, a few yellow girls. Their imported cotton dresses, their cashmere sweaters, their curly hair, and I thought that I too should have what these lucky girls. The poet is describing them as lucky girls. These rich white girls and also some yellow girls who wear imported dresses who wear Kashmiri sweaters, who have curly hair and, and uh, such uh, things that I too should have what these lucky girls had. When I was growing up, I hungered for American food. American styles ordered white and even to me, a child born of Chinese parents, being Chinese was feeling foreign, was limiting, was un-American. When I was growing up, I hungered for American food. I wished to eat American food. The poet did not like the Chinese poet. I hungered for American poet. 
American styles. The poet wanted to adopt American styles. She disliked the Chinese ways, the Chinese style. American styles ordered white. And even to me, a child born of Chinese parents, being Chinese was feeling foreign. The poet felt ashamed, thinking that her parents are Chinese. Yes, she had as Chinese parents, she felt feels ashamed. She is feeling foreign. She is feeling for foreign, was limiting, was un-American. What is not American? He is not a praiseworthy. That's her concept. Was un-American. So she wanted to follow American style. She wanted to eat American food. So, we see the poet's assimilation into the dominant white culture. The poet's assimilation into the dominant white culture. She has condemned for her own ethnic culture. When I was growing up, a white man wanted to take me out. I thought I was special. When a white man took her out. When a white man took her out. When a white man dated with her. She felt that she was special. She felt that she was special because a white man chose her. An exotic gardenia. Gardenia is a flower, a symbol of purity. Gardenia. An exotic. Exotic means wonderful, unfamiliar, etc. Such means. Anxious to fit to the stereotype of an oriental chick. Oriental chick means oriental beauty. Oriental beauty. Eastern beauty. She felt that she represents Eastern beauty. Anxious to fit the stereotype of an oriental chick. The stereotype of oriental beauty. So she felt that she was special when a white man took her out. When I was growing up, I felt ashamed of some element. When she saw her own people, she felt ashamed. I felt ashamed of some element. Their small bones, their small bones, their frail bodies, seeing their weak body, they are spitting on the streets, seeing their habit of spitting on the street. They had a, a habit of spitting on the streets. Such a uncultured ways. They are coughing. They are lying in sunless rooms. So they had such a uncultured ways and habits that the poet did not like. 
their habit of lying in sunless room shooting themselves in the arms injecting drugs in the arms lying in sunless rooms such a habit she hated so she felt ashamed of her own people when she saw some yellow men with their frail body big body their habit was spitting on the streets they are coughing they are lying in sunless rooms shooting themselves in the arms so she hated to see such a uncultured ways and habits of her own people when i was growing up people would ask if i were filipino polynesian portuguese they named all colors except white the shell of my soul but not my rough dark skin when i was growing up this expression is repeated in throughout the poem except a the first and last stanza when i was growing up people would ask if i were filipino the people will ask me if i were filipino if i come from philippines or polynesian if i come from polynesia am i portuguese they ask me but they never ask me whether i am i come from a european country they named all colors except white they named all colors except white the shell of my soul actually white is the color of my soul white is the color of my soul but the people can't see the color of my soul but not my rough dark skin they see only the color of my skin not my raw rough dark skin they ask me whether i am a i am filipino polynesian portuguese they named all colors except white they never asked me whether i come from a country where white people live when i was growing up i felt that i felt that i felt uh, this color she felt that the color of her skin is dirty i felt dirty because of this color i thought that god made white people clean i thought that god made white people clean so the identity of the dominant white culture is linked with cleanliness cleanliness only the white people are clean the black people are not clean i thought that god made white people clean and no matter how much i bathe no matter how much i bathe even if i take a bath several times my color does not change no matter how much i bathe i could not change i could not shed my skin i could not shed my skin in the gray water so the identity of the dominant white culture is linked with cleanliness 
when i was growing up i saw i would run away to purple mountains houses by the sea with nothing over my head with the space to breathe when i was growing up she saw that she would run away she she would run away from her own people she had an urge to run away from her people who are living in colonies i would run away to purple mountains so the chinese people live in some areas called a china town i would run away to purple mountains so they live crowded in colonies she feels suffocated i would run away to purple mountains houses by the sea i want to escape i want to run away to uh purple mountains i want to live in some in the houses by the sea with nothing over my head with a space to breathe with a space to breathe so in the colonies she lived for her people lived there was not uh, enough space it was very congested very crowded she wanted to run away from her people to houses by the sea to purple mountains she wanted to live in houses by the sea with a space to breathe uncongested with yellow people away from the yellow people around people uncongested with yellow people in an area called a china town the areas where china chinese people live outside their country is called a china town in an area i later learned was a ghetto the area we live is called a ghetto a slum area cherry pradesh it is called a ghetto it was later that uh, i learned that uh, it is called a ghetto by others andam chisri it is described as ghetto one of many hearts of asian america in one of many parts of asian america so in such a congested areas crowded places she lived so she wanted to run away to some place where she will be able to breathe freely i now know that once i longed it to be white how many more ways you ask haven't i told you in i know now that once i long it to be white so she has said the so she used the past tense in the other stanzas in the previous stanzas the previous stanzas are all in past tense because she does not share that view now she does not share the view expressed in the earlier stanzas now now there is a self realization self realization that her 
ideas were wrong. Her ideas were wrong. The idea that only white color is good. White color is better. It is better to be white. It is better to be fair. Such ideas were forced upon her by the society. Now she feels that she was wrong. I now know, I know now that once I longed to be white, once I wished to be white, but uh, now I don't wish to be white. So there is a self realization, a transition. Once I longed to be white. Now she discovers her ethnic identity. How many more ways you ask? Haven't I told you enough? Haven't I told you enough? The poem ends with a, a rhetorical question. The poem ends with a rhetorical question. A rhetorical question is a question to which no answer is expected. No answer is expected. Such a question is rhetorical question. So such a poetic techniques as rhetorical question, imagery, we get the images like the China town, which is called a ghetto. Repetition is there. The expression when I was growing up is repeated 11 times in the poem. So repetition is there. And you can notice that uh, there is very few capitalization. Very few capitalization in the poem. And uh, the stanzas are intended. Intended means with the uh, uneven length, unequal length. Lines are of unequal length. Intended. So such a poetic techniques uh, are used in this poem. Okay, thank you.